Good morning. Uh, so back to Snippy Pixie next at the moment. Um, I think yesterday, um, last session, last video, um, I was in the middle of page down in the snippets list and I hit a bit of a snag. Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, I can't use this syntax for the for loop simply because I can't access the item index when I've got it because it's a component. Um, so let's just uh, demo that. Um, yeah. Bring up Wales Dev. Now I can't, it's not so easy to demo it in here because you'd have to open up the tools in there and it's a bit, a bit cramped. And so what we'll do is we'll just do it in the browser. So, right, so we're in the console here. I clear that out. If I then, when I'm in the list, I try and do a page down, I get this error. Uncle error, a snippet pixel list item, which is these individual row um, items. Fops cannot be read directly from the component instance unless compiler with accessors true or svelte options accessors. Interesting. I'm tempted to do that. But I don't know. Hmm. That has potential repercussions that. And I can just use a for loop anyway, so um and it might be a little might be a fraction more performant anyway. So yeah, I'll just do a for loop instead, uh, like a normal old school one. So uh, in here, we want to do uh, let's get rid of those first three things. And we'll do so let IDX just to make it slightly different from index. Um, actually, I could just call that item. Actually, I will. Well, that's what I'll do. I'll just keep it like item. No, I prefer to make it very obvious that it's a numeric. Uh, IDX equals zero. So we start with index zero. Um, and we're going to just do um, while IDX is less than elements.length. So we're going from zero to the last element and here we're just going to do idx plus plus so increment it out to each loop so okay i'm going to take that out and i don't need that I will just do a little local variable here. So I'll do const item is equal to elements dx. And then I've got the item. So if item scroll top is less than zero. then 
I'm hoping that works. I don't know that. That's why I've got that console log in there. We'll see in a minute. Uh, that means that we've already scrolled it um, just slightly above the beginnings of the uh, the list view. And then, so we, don't, we can't use it. It's not interesting to us. We're looking for the last item in view so we can select it and then move it to the top. Um, so if the item scroll top plus its offset height, so that's from right from its scroll top, it's of its own. Um, to its bottom, so it's like border to border. So if that is less yeah, it's less than the views height. So it's up there. It is a candidate, so it's like potentially the last visible. So we take its index, which is not correct here. We want IDX. And then keep going but if we find an item which doesn't meet these criteria so it's in the list and it's not scrolled off the top because it's not been caught by this top if so if the scroll top plus by the blah is greater than or equal to the client height Yeah, if it's actually scrolled off a fraction. It's not a candidate. Let's make it equal to. Shall I? No, I will make it. Mm. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for the moment. I can always adjust. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Last visible. Log it. And then we will focus it and then we will scroll it into view to, the, to where its top is at the start, we hope. Okay, we'll see. So hopefully that's just recompiled. I didn't see anything. So in theory, six should scroll to the top. Nope. Okay. Console time. I didn't even mean console. All right. Page down, see what happens. So we're looking for BSIU. Ha, huh. that did not work. Right, what's going wrong there? So it's only picked zero. Oh. 
that's not good. Can't do that. might actually no I can't of course the problem okay all right let's move let's do a little bit of investigation here then so we'll just do some index As top. Uh, undefined. Huh. Interesting. So does that mean I can't Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I've not done. So this is a uh, thing where I take the node. This is a what? Why does that think it's not used? is not okay so that does work so this is the magic that should be happening so for every item in the list each of these things these little components um, I'm binding it into elements some index. And that's like zero through fifty or whatever. But I'm not able to get it here. I find it scrolled top. Hmm. 
Okay, little experiment then. What if I try and just not put it in a variable there and see what happens? I wonder if it still works. No. Let's just double check that. All right, so why? Why can't I access it? can't think why that's not working. Let's see what happens. I'll just log the object as such. How does it have that? It's a normal thing. Right, well, why is scroll interview working? But... Oh, because I've got a function on it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Idiot. Right, yes. Okay, I forgot about that. I'm doing ref here and I'm binding it internally to the list item. So I need to do that. Forgot I did all that. Right. Uh, right, okay. So we just need to do a scroll top function then. Um, yeah, okay, 
which is basically an accessor. I mean, I, I might need to have a look at um, have a look at the uh, thingy, that little message. Um, see if there's a way to allow access. But mm, that's a good point. It'd be the ref that I'd be looking at, not the index. Yeah, this function kind of does the job anyway, doesn't it? Okay, let's do that. Um, and then, in theory, I can let's get rid of that and then scroll top. Just do this for the moment, since it is quite lightweight. It is just um, just a quick reference, but I could put it in a variable. Okay. So we come in, we do this, we do that. Uh, we have an item now. We call the function, scroll top. It might struggle with this because I've dereferenced it, we'll see. Um, and then item scroll top, item scroll top. It's not, um, it's not working out that that's a real function yet, but I'm sure it works, he says. Okay, let's try it on here. So page down, we should get BSIU. We don't. Index zero has top zero. Correct. Why didn't you go into all the rest then? Oh, offset and client tie that'll be okay okay right yeah I'm gonna have to look at the accessors thing because it might be easier just to go and bind it can I bind it Mm, yeah, I'll have to think about that. What am I doing now? Offset height. Uh, that helps. Scroll top, scroll top, and then the element reference. Okay. Yay! Well, I actually did the worst. <laughs> I did the bottom. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> it's got zero each time, right? Okay. <laughs> Why? Why? 
why, 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 why? It's a bit weird. Why is that? Which is bound to this, which is this, not recognizing its scroll top. There is a way around this, potentially. The Steinen might be messed up. Hmm. So I could make this a slot, though then I really don't need it to be honest. I wonder if that would bring it back up into the the dom and I could just use references to it. I don't know actually. I'm not sure that's gonna work. I don't know what's going on there. Why is that ref? Always returning zero. There's um there is a way of finding out the parent, isn't there?
There's a uh, we could get the parent. As a client thing. that problem as well. Okay, confused. Um, let's try one thing and then I probably need to go anyway. Um, it's going to be a short one today and I'm not really going to get far. But let's see what we've got. So at the moment, as we come through got the item okay let's do a quick test that that dereference is not it's not no, it's not even a dereference but So has top should give me in theory no. Didn't think that'd work because it's the same thing. Okay, so that works because it's all within the reference, it's all within the item. 
but the list item doesn't know that it's in a container somehow. That's a problem. How do I get that? I'm sure I'm missing some trick there with Svelte. Can I do that? I'm going to try that in a sec.
¿sí? That's what I kind of wanted to do. I wondered whether that might work. That's not what I... I am, that's what I'm doing, so I'm binding the item. So that I can call it sex ports. I might end up having to do this kind of thing. Right, so that's what I could have done. Okay, I think I'm going to have a quick go and see if I can do anything with the uh, props rest and see if that does anything. So, Doesn't like that. Why? What's the syntax? No, oh, rest pops. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely time to call it quits, but anyway. Right, I'm going to try that, see what happens. So in theory, 
I don't think that's going to work, but... Yeah, it's worth a go. Uh, right, did that compile, okay. Looks like it. Let's give that a whack. Refresh. Tab in, page down, did not like, yeah. Hmm, don't know how to do that then. The only way I can think of doing it is maybe pulling it out as a as a slot item or maybe just not even doing that. Be a bit messy though. I really needed to, I wanted to keep it clean so that we can create them on the fly. It keeps all the uh, styling in the right place. I'm sure there's something I'm missing here. I'll have to do maybe a bit of a search to see if there's a way to get that working. Hmm. So we're basically at a bit of an impasse at the moment. I cannot get a components Can I get a components scroll top? I can get its offset because that's internal to the component. It's saying, hey, this is what I look like when I'm rendered. But I can't get where it is within the parent because it doesn't seem to know. It's very much a runtime thing. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. There might be a way. Should I have to do a bit of searching, but I really haven't got time for that just now. So, yeah, so we're kind of a little bit stuck here. Um, we are at a point where up and down are working fine, and I can go to the end, I can go to the beginning. Um, but I just can't do page down because I can't get which item I can't find for each item where it is in the scroll view. Okay, All right, well, that's the uh, task for another day. So, until then, um, thanks for watching uh, and you take care.